It is a ghost town out there with the UK in lockdown, but it doesn't mean that we can't talk about Jaden Sancho. An update from Fabrizio Romano and a Jaden Sancho phone call with the United player that's got plenty of fans excited. I'm going to run through all the latest updates on Sancho and Man United. Before I do begin, I want to plead with you, I suppose. Make sure you follow the guidelines that the government are setting in the UK or any country that you're living in. Lockdown means lockdown. It's for the safety of everybody. It's to help the NHS. It's to save lives. So please, please do it. And it looks like the UK are listening. So I'm not sure about around the world, but please do what you can to help. But let's talk about Jaden Sancho. Fabrizio Romano is the man that we all listen to when it comes to United transfer news. He gets asked daily. He got asked daily about Bruno Fernandes and that turned out very, very well. Now he's continuing to be asked about Jaden Sancho. And on a live Instagram video on the 433 account, Romano had this to say about United's pursuit of Sancho. But starting speaking about Sancho, I receive questions about from Manchester United play, from Manchester United fans every day about <laughs> Jadon Sancho because I know they want him strongly as they did with Bruno Fernandes. So that's um, right. The the situation with Manchester United is that they are trying really to to get Jadon Sancho. They are in contact with his, his agent since two months, and at the moment the situation is that Manchester United are working for him with the player about his contract. The problem now is to speak with Borussia Dortmund about the price because, you know, this kind of situation in Europe and all over the world. So Man United have been in talks with Sancho's agent for two months. That's plenty of time. I find it slightly weird nowadays that uh, that used to be tapping up, going to an agent rather than directly to the club. But it seems like that's what you can do these days. But United are in talks with Sancho's agent and his representatives and have been for two months. Now, the coronavirus is obviously slowing everything down with the whole world grinding to a halt. But at least behind the scenes, United are making moves towards Sancho. And I suppose from an update point of view, that's what United fans want to hear. And you certainly want to hear it from Fabrizio. Will United get Sancho? It's a different question altogether. It's extremely complicated. And that's before the coronavirus. Champions League football is important. Other clubs that are going to come in for him. How much will he cost? How, many, how much will his wages be? Tons of questions. But United are in talks. And that is important. And there was another video that came out this week, another Instagram video, this time Jaden Sancho on a phone call with Jesse Lingard. Here's the video or a clip of it. I'm here for three weeks on this chair, innit? So you better be training. Of course. But you know what I'm saying? In my spare time. Yeah. Now, a lot of United fans will get mega excited about this. But for me, it's just two English lads who are in a senior squad together having a chat during isolation. But it does make you think about maybe the English contingency at United and whether that would be a draw and a pull for Sancho. You've got Marcus Rashford there, Jesse Lingard both in the senior setup. Those three would be great mates at United and clearly are mates already. And that would be a pull for United. But at the same time, you could say that Chelsea have got Hudson Odoi, they've got Abraham, they've got Mason Mount. So the same thing could be said of Chelsea. It's no no secret that United are desperate for a right winger. Dan James, he came in this summer and he's done a very good job there. Not a very good job, he's done a good job there. But he shouldn't have been playing as much as he's been playing. He should be a second choice right winger. And I think that's when you can see someone like Dan James excel. But United need a winger. Chelsea, they need wingers. Other clubs will all be in for Jadon Sancho and why not? It's got to be one of the hottest properties in European football. And United can certainly afford the wages of Sancho, but I hope that with, like we did with Bruno Fernandes, his wages didn't blow our wage structure out of proportion. We need to rein it in. That's why we let Ander Herrera go. And obviously we sort of ballsed it up because we didn't, you know, give him the contract earlier, but that's a different conversation altogether. But for me personally, I think with Jadon Sancho, the most important thing that still remains is Champions League football. Whoever has Champions League football will have an advantage over other clubs that don't have Champions League football. Jadon Sancho is that good already in his career that I don't think he'll want to take a step down to Europa League football. That's just the truth. Maybe he'll want to go to a club to sort of help rebuild them. But would he want to do that or would he want to just go straight in and play top level, the elite level of football? I think he'd probably want the latter and who could blame him if he's got options available to him. But Sancho would be a dream signing for United. At least we're in talks to sign him. Other clubs will be too. But we're making moves. Well, I mean, you know Borussia Dortmund will sell. They are a selling club with all you know, no disrespect from, to them whatsoever, actually, in fact. Lewandowski, Goetze, 
all the players that have gone and all the players that have come through and they're still a European powerhouse. Erling Haaland, they signed him safe in the knowledge that they can lose him for a, rec a release clause, sorry, further down the line. But it's their structure, it's their style and it works for them. And Jadon Sancho is a player that will leave Borussia Dortmund for the right price. And that will be the next major step. Who knows when football will be back? It's probably going to be a long time away. And maybe it won't be the start of next season in August after a summer transfer window. It, in all likelihood, it won't be a full summer transfer window. I imagine it's going to be delayed somewhat. But United are in talks with Jaden Sancho's representatives. That's what you want to hear as a United fan. Do you think he'll come to United? Do you think he'll go Chelsea? As I said, for me, Champions League football, I don't think Champions League football not having it has previously stopped United. We signed like Ibrahimovic, we signed Paul Pogba, we signed Mkhitaryan. We were paying a lot of money at that point and it created the wrong sort of culture at United. Instead of bringing players to United because they wanted to win titles and wanted to be at the very top, they came to United ultimately to earn the biggest pay packet. And it created a squad which was lacking cohesion. That's being polite about it. But now it's a different style and a different culture is hopefully coming in under Solskjaer. We've seen it with the signings so far and it's working. Hopefully Jadon Sancho can fall into that category. I think Champions League football is going to be extremely important for that. But what do you think? And how are you getting on in isolation? I haven't gone stir crazy just yet. But as I said in the last video, if there are any more video ideas that you want me to cover, make sure you leave it in the comments. I do read as many comments as I possibly can. But United are in talks for Sancho. What would that price be? Probably over 100 million for Sancho. That's what I would guess. How much would Dortmund want? There's so many different questions to ask. But at this stage, United are in talks with him. And that in itself is a major positive and a big update. Make sure you subscribe down below to United People's TV. You haven't got anything else to do right now. Come on, hit that button down there. Drop a like on the video. Until next time, though, take it easy.